Hello again to everyone. In this video, we're going to see the presentation of the course. We're going to see all the chapters in the course and every one of the videos for each chapter. So we're going to briefly describe everything. The course is segmented in six sections. The first one is the introduction where I present myself and I talk a little about my experience. Then we have the presentation of the course in which we are right now. Then we have a lecture in where we have all the downloadable resources, where we have all the learner files, along with the models and the textures of the projects we are going to work on. Then we have a lecture in where we are going to have all the important links for the course. Here we have the portfolio of all the artists of the concepts for the models we used. We also have the link for the Blender fundamentals, for the beginners, among other stuffs. And finally we have the link for the Facebook group, in where you will have access to the students group if you want to share your work and get feedback alongside other students. Well, after the introduction, we are going to have a very short segment with the fundamentals in where we are going to see the introduction to the texture paint and the shader editor. We are going to basically see how the texture paint works and all the important tools here. And we are also going to see how the shader editor works in where we can edit all the material nodes and we are going to see most of the important nodes. The next section is the first project, which is this mushroom diorama in where we are going to cover all the texturing process. We are going to start modeling and ungrouping the objects, which are very simple objects, and this is actually a very fast process. And then we are going to start putting the colors. We are going to start blocking the colors, which is put some flat colors, and we continue hand painting all the color variations. We are going to paint manually all the textures and details in this model. After painting it, we are going to distribute everything in a diorama style, and finally, we are going to export all the maps to make the presentation in Marmoset. And these maps could be used in any kind of rendering engine, not only in Marmoset. In the project 2, we are going to change a little the workflow, because from this project, we are going to have all the high poly and the low poly models. So the first thing we are going to do here is to extract all the details from the high poly model with the map baking. We are going to do this in Marmoset. We are going to extract the normal map, curvature map, ambient occlusion, among others. Then we are going to polish a little these maps, because you will see that we can improve manually some of the maps. And with all the maps ready, we are going to start texturing. We are going to start the school and the candle, then the book. Then we are going to use a method called stencil to project this image that we have in the side and in the front of the book. And we will continue texturing the rest of the objects. When we have all the color texture applied, we are going to start adding the roughness and the lighting. That means we are going to put some lights to better see the materials and we are going to add as well all the specularity properties for the surfaces. Some of these objects are glossier than the others, and that is what we are going to work on. And then we are going to continue creating the mission map. We are going to put some light information and export it as an image. And finally, we are going to export all the maps to make the presentation in Marmoset. Well, in the project tree, we have this chest, and we are going to have a workflow very similar to the last project. So we are going to make the maps baking, we are going to start making the wood base, some variations for the colors, we are going to work in the details for this roof, and in the metals, and then we are going to work in the roughness and the metalness. Here we are going to explore how to create this kind of metallic reflections, because the way we work with the roughness is a little different in metallic materials. And finally we have the presentation in Marmoset. And in the next section we have our last project, which is a bigger project. Here we have a complete character with all his details, and we're going to start baking the maps as well and blocking the materials. In this character, the material blocking is much more important, because as we have too many materials, this is going to help us to have some order from the beginning and be able to see everything as a unit, in order to control better the interaction between the materials. Then we will continue with the hair, skin and scroll, all these organic pieces, then the dress, in where we are going to use some pattern to put all these details in the fabric, which is a very fun process. We continue with the armor robes and bell. We're going to start working in the metalness. Then we continue with the katana, which has two materials, one on wood and one of metal. And from this view, we cannot see it well, but this katana already has two very detailed and cool materials. Then we're going to work in the fox tails, in the straps for the armor, and then manually we are going to work in all the face and the skin details. 
we continue adjusting all the materials. In this video, we're going to take all the materials and balance everything to create a very good interaction between them in order to make that all the character looks like a unit. We're going to make all the materials feel very well integrated. Then we're going to export all the maps and make this part for the petals, which are like these little particles around the character. And finally, we're going to render it in Marmoset. And at the end of the whole course, we are going to talk about how can study and face texture challenge by yourself. We are going to see some references, we are going to see how we can extract information from other artists and models to be able to create any kind of texturing for following projects. And well, with this we will conclude the course. I hope everything is clear and I really hope you enjoy this process.